Vela, este es el señor McCandles. Hola, Vela. ¡Oh! Oh. Sangre. 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 Yours and I started talking about poor things in 2017. The idea of having a brain that is brand new, what would that be? ¿De dónde ha salido? Vela es un experimento y va progresando a un ritmo muy acelerado. I was blown away by Bella, by the character. I don't think I've ever seen or read any, anyone like that. Working with Emma, that's the reason this film for me was so exciting to make. Bella. Fuera. Ahora. My character, the doctor, sees her as an experiment, which at some point reaches a crisis. No dejaré que te vayas. Si no lo haces, Bella se volverá podrida de odio. No! Debo salir a pisar mundo that you could have the kind of mind that isn't taught to be a certain way, I think that's very inspiring. <laughs> All of these things that women are conditioned a whole lifetime through do not apply to her. Te limitarás a pronunciar estas tres frases. Encantada, qué maravilla. ¿Y cómo consiguen este hojaldre tan crujiente? ¿Entiendes? You get some very funny situation. Ow. I mean, it's unbelievable. The development of the brain, it's such a fine line, especially as we shoot things out of order. And she's really tracking the progression, not just with her voice, but also with her body. It's an incredibly challenging part. It's probably the hardest part I've ever played. Una mujer que traza su rumbo hacia la libertad. Eso es maravilloso. It's a huge leap for her forward. That's incredible to witness. I don't know how this could have been made without her. I wanted to play Bella because it felt like acceptance of what it is to be a woman, what it is to be free, what it is to be confident, and just a little bit. Necesitaremos menos lengua en el futuro, pero en general muy agradable. It just felt like the perfect combination of all of that.